Hey guys and girls, this is a quick multi video update. We're going to include uh, armor and dragon slayer and what the viewers want. And I'm joined with Carlton. Hey guys. So, first off, I'm going to start with the armors. Now, armor update, I'm not on about the appearance because we thought armor of what me and Carlton are wearing at the moment. I've always looked like this. And in the future, it may change, but for now, it's staying what it is. So, what I do mean is that I've reworked the entire stat system of all free to play armor that's iron to room. I haven't included bronze because of, um, well, it's just the starter armor, really, so it won't have no special bonuses. So, Carlton, since you're recording, Mm -hmm. Um, can you right click your mithril plate? No yeah. Ideas. Yep. So. Okay, I'm good. It's open. Right. Scroll right to the bottom. Sure. Until you see special properties. Yep, I'm there. Okay, so. Since Runescape has always had the combat system and we're focusing on the project. Uh, around 2007 but since we're standing in Grand Exchange we're adding some current features as well so we're looking to add the combat system in here as well but not like um, fully implanted so a warrior against a mage would be impossible so all these special properties I've set it so melee armor is protective against melee damage and range damage so as you can see the plate has resistance um, I forgot how you pronounce this, blunging or something <laughs> um, of 50, 15 damage and less so that means if Carlton is wearing a mace which is the, um, I'll just call it crush and he's going to attack me it means I'll reduce 15 damage or less also if you right click your um, mithril helmet you'll notice it has the uh, resistance of piercing this time mm -hmm. piercing is um, arrows and bolts so it's a mixture shield, mithril shield I'm not sure if you have that item on you but if you yes. examine that Yep, it's got it. 15 resistance to slashing. So there's um, three melee types, which is um, crush, slash, pierce. Pierce is like wrap, break, pierce. So it's resistance against all the melee types and the piercing as well, which is ranges. So, and also on the plate, it's the uh, damage vulnerability to. Um, Mages, so let me right click it so I can get um, damage vulnerability weakness against magical, so it's any cast of spells, which is 15%. So basically, um, you'll be 15% weaker to mages, which is normal if you're wearing armor. And this the, um, system, so iron armor would be. Resistance 5 against Crush. Rune would be 15. It goes up 5 each time. Although it's uh, sort of weak since it's, we're only focusing on free to play at the moment. Items in the future, such as, say, a Bandos chestplate, will give strength bonus and um, lower defense than Barrow's armor. And Barrow's armor will be made unique as well. So that's the armor way. I've also updated the weapons. So Carlson, can you right click your scimitar? Sure. Since I'm wearing a two hander, let's see. Okay, so I've made an entire list on a website of all the armor weapons. I'm just put my sword. So Perfect. Yeah. Since I don't have a scimitar. I believe that um, 
each weapon is unique, so a scimitar. Uh, Colson, can you tell me what these scimitar properties yeah. are? Yeah, of course. Uh, should I start with the base damage or the special properties? Um, special properties. Okay. For the attack bonus, it is plus three, and uh, the damage bonus is slashing three. Okay. So that basically means it's um, accurate and damaging at the same time. Colson, can you right click your two hander now? Yep. And I'll show you the special properties of the. Uh, oh, the two hander for now. And this goes for all mithril weapons and onwards. So remember that's mithril to room. Okay. So you see the special properties as massive, criticals as 15, and then it says on hit, days, DC 16, 10% one round. So shortened term of that, it means when you, if you have equipped and you're attacking him, or a monster, NPC or monster, it's um... It's hard to explain since it's a uh, technical game, but basically you have a 10% chance of dazing your opponent, which means they aren't stunned, they can attack, but they stay still. So it's like binding. So I could daze Carlton right now, he could turn around, switch weapons use potions or something but he can't move right our next topic is dragon slayer so two months ago on the 16th i believe they released a um dragon slayer trailer and now two months later it's finally complete so me colton and possibly one or two others will be recording that soon and it, I've tested it through since it's such a large quest. I don't want to get to like the end and find a bug. And we have to record the entire thing again because it's it's just yeah. Like, that'll be like maybe an hour long, right? Two yeah. hours tops, somewhere around there. So it's, it's, it's a big quest. Yeah, looking forward well, to it. Well, testing I did too many shortcuts, so I could just in one click I can get to. Edriel from Champions Guild in a second, but in reality I had to test it fully and it took me around uh, I forgot but it took very long to complete since all the armor rework and stuff it will be a lot harder to do now so our last topic is something which Carlton sort of suggested but not suggested at the same time so he was talking to somebody and they said that because um, they do the project and they were talking to actually Cotton, do you want to explain this since it's yeah sure um I do not recall the player's name but there was three or f four of them there um it was uh, actually at the uh, dark uh, wizards uh, circle crest thing right outside of Varrock and um I was talking to him about it and um uh they had uh, watched a ton of our episodes, and they were uh, were uh, possibly subscribers. I forget, but um, I hope so. Uh, they suggested that um, we take uh, the viewers' input, so I was like, "Yeah, that is a really smart idea." So that's what we are deciding to do now. Um, we just want to know what you guys want to see in the game, and um, what like changes that could be made to uh, make your experience a uh, lot. Be, uh, way more exciting than it you know is right now so super super exciting if you guys yeah. called that um what uh one of the changes that we possibly are making is um having the banks live um uh the general stores live sorry um so that would be definitely something to look forward to because i'll try my best to get that you know working appropriately um and the ge we still have to discuss that but um i'll let you take the ge because sure. i guess you've thought about it more yeah, so 
since um, well, when I first started the project, I basically just stood in RuneScape in game and just copied the exact. Well, so from Lumbridge, really, I just stood in Lumbridge for days, possibly months, just copying stuff over to from RuneScape to the you know, project. So basically, I was in a grand exchange while building Barrow, and I thought. Originally, I didn't have a grand exchange, it was just grand. It had to be walls around it because I didn't know the exact replica. And um, I didn't really want to stand in a 07 scape and just copy a bunch of hills and trees and grass. So basically, I just had a grand exchange. And my first intentions, which is related to what Carlson just said, um, I believe one of the guys said don't add me grand exchange but my first intentions for a grand exchange was to say trading hub so you couldn't go up to an NPC at one of these you know, pillars and ask to buy items or sell items and stuff so say I've just looted a um, I'm gonna say dragon two hander I could and say Colton's playing as well so I could Use the shout option and say something like snap all the like cycle. Just sun to H. Um yeah. uh, G -S. So I could shout something like that. <laughs> that fast response. So the shout option is anybody in any area could see what you've shouted. So this I could say that me and Colton could meet up. I'll have some since some yeah, some of the um thinking what uh, I could add the ring of wealth which could teleport you to Grand Exchange. So Grand Exchange for now will just be a trading hub. So as Carlson was saying, just comment on what you would like to see in the project and what you wouldn't like to see. So, I would like to see um, a fully functioning dual arena, and I wouldn't like to see. Um, what wouldn't I like to see? Herblore. I don't know. That'll, that'll be weird but uh yeah basically just say say what you want to see and what you don't uh want to see and uh we will definitely take it into consideration because yeah your your uh, opinions are greatly uh you know welcome and we thank you for them yeah i can't think of anything what i would want to see yeah, cause it's all pretty good. <laughs> Maybe somebody you wouldn't want to see wall bands. Yeah, yeah, that Just was. <laughs> yeah, some of the newer things Jagex has done, you might not want to see because you didn't, you know, expect it or, you know, maybe. Yeah. God, that's really confused me now. Um, wall bands are sort of fresh, so since uh, we own tree outside, I have no idea what. Could possibly not somebody want to see. I know something like Squid of Fortune or Solomon's <laughs> would be obvious, but yeah, yeah, that stuff. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, just EOC could be one, but you can't really change the combat of the game. That's true. Well, you could change like the speeds and stuff, and uh. Yeah, it's pre uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's not like we can change the animations too much because yeah. we don't have um uh, those uh suits with the balls on them and stuff and a green screen yet at least. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. Something I would like to see in the game would um, I'm not sure how we could take this, but with like a like a new uh like like a death animation, so like you could stab someone in the chest and like he would take your foot up and like push him back with your foot and yeah. you know just mm -hmm. something we could do on the side but just 
some cool death animations. Um, that may be so, yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, that's I guess that's pr pr pretty much it, isn't it? Or yep. So all right. So ooh, one quick mention. We um. On the YouTube channel, we schedule videos. They're looking to start being released on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In around two weeks, I'd say, we've put a lot of preparation and we're trying to make videos as quality as we can. Sorry if this isn't, I know it's night time, but it'll take quite a while. 